Hey there once again to this cool video tutorial. Today we're going to be creating this EKG or ECG. According to Wikipedia it's both. So I'm just going to be using EKG. It's going to look like this when we're finished, hopefully. That does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Now, once again, if you go to my blog, I'll throw in this cool sound effect. Let me just turn up the volume here. It's If you match it up correctly, it sounds really realistic, just like it should. Okay, then let's get started to be making this cool effect. We're going to go to Composition, New Composition, and I'm just going to make um, an NTSC DV 20 second comp. Well, let's make it five seconds. Whoops. Five second comp. NTSC DV 720 by 480. Um, okay. Now, first thing, we're going to create a new solid. This is going to be our background. And for the color, I just wrote down some values that look quite nice. It's going to be this dark blue. Really dark blue barely see that it's still a blue probably well if if you're not seeing in direct sunlight like I am and okay that's the background no worries about this next new solid and this is going to be our line this is going to be a really easy thing let's just make this I don't know something that we can notice this is the line from the color from the icon the color from the of the solid doesn't matter at all it's really is means nothing trust me so for the effect what we're going to apply here we're going to use the Vegas effect whoops Vegas just take this and drag it out to the solid over there in the effect controls wherever you want and um, once you apply this you don't really see anything we'll fix that in a second and um, what you want to do now before you do anything about the effect is you're going to take your um, rectangular a uh, rectangle tool and you're going to drag a rectangle from the middle down there so just like this so there's the line directly through the middle and the rest of the mask goes past the outside okay and you want to make sure you have this layer selected otherwise it won't become a mask once you have that done you're going to use the pen tool hold that down and take the add vertex tool zoom in here a bit and we're going to add four vertices that are more or less equal space don't worry you can fix this later then you're going to take the pen, uh, the selection tool and the second vertex you're going to pull up and the third is going to be pulled down. Can you see where I'm going? That shape is quite familiar right now. I can hide the mask and I'm also going to lock it because this is the shape we're going to stay with. If you want to make some changes to your shape you do that, un um, show the mask and unlock it and do that now. I think that looks quite fine. I think it does. And um, for the stroke here in the Vegas effect now, make sure the line layer is selected. We're going to follow a mask path, and that pass path is mask number one. Now, the blend mode, we're going to choose transparent, which makes our previous layer transparent, so we can't see it at all, which is why I chose the green color down there, so we can see it right there. And we're also going to change the color of our line here. I also wrote something down. It's also a green. It's 43. 234 and 43 again makes gives us this green color. What was up with that? Okay. Um, now to this um, settings. You see here that we've got a lot of different segments. What? Let me tell you what this effect does basically. It's you can use it to make well the name comes from Las Vegas obviously. You can use it to make these cool signs where lights travel around the outside. And we don't, we don't, well, we want an effect like that, but not all, we don't want to make a sign. So we're going to only, instead of 32 segments which travel around the mask right now, we're only going to take one, which makes one big light that goes all the way around. Keep in mind, though, that the light goes all the way around the mask that we made earlier, so it's going to travel around the outside, just so you know. You don't want to ma create a mask with a pen tool just up here like that, because it might not work. The effect doesn't work that way normally and then for the length because we don't want the light to show all the way through 
If you do it like this, the light will never be completely off. We're going to change it to 0 0.5. You're going to probably have to type 0 0.5. I have to do comma 5 because I live in Germany and we use commas as a points where you use points, we use commas, where you use commas, we use points. Just so you know. It's a little irritating, but oh well. And then what we you see it disappeared now just because it was off probably over here or down here already. I'm not sure about that. Who cares? And because it was traveling in the wrong direction, we're also going to change that. For that, we just have to change start and end um, opacity. Change the start opacity to 0 and the end opacity to 1. Now it travels into the direction from left to right. But there is no animation going on here. Nothing. It doesn't move. That's why you have to um, keyframe the rotation as well. Just go to the beginning, click that little stopwatch icon, go to the end, and type five times in there. And that's basically already the effect itself. There's still some tweaking we're going to do here. We're not quite finished. But it looks pretty cool already. Now what else we're going to do is we're going to go in rendering, change the width, I don't know, we'll just play around with this value. It comes in here, 4, I don't know, 8, might already be the thick, 7, 6, I'm going to stay with 6, that's okay. Now that's the telephone, I'm not going to answer that at the moment. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Now let's also add a glow here. So you're going to select the layer, go to effect, stylize glow and in the glow choose the threshold of 0% the radius change it take your large value I'm gonna take like 90 and the intensity 3 you see we've got oh, well, maybe take the radius down to 70 or something like that it has this slight glow on the outside of the line here it looks quite cool actually it's barely noticeable but looks cool and then for the final thing we're gonna add an, a grid that I you might have seen in the f my example over here where I ob obviously chose a larger width I think this looks fine though and um, for that we're gonna add a new solid and for the heck of it just make it white it doesn't matter maybe it does maybe change the grid color not sure about that I'll probably change the grid color so make it white and just go over here, it's probably on the generate, but I don't care right now. So I'm just going to type it over here, yeah, generate, grid, and bring that in here. And that's done. Just pull it below the line, and we're going to, whoops, that wasn't what I wanted. Change the name to grid, and we'll also press T to toggle the opacity, and we're going to turn that down to, what do I want to take for that? I think I use 10%, a really slight value. So there's still a grid, but you barely see it. And this is actually it. Now what you can do with this effect is if you have some footage of a TV monitor or an actual heart monitor, that would be awesome. You could take make this effect, pre-compose it, and composite it onto your monitor, track it, composite it in there, maybe change some colors, put the color correction over the entire footage, including this, and it'll look really cool and awesome. And please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, check the blog for the sound effect, whatever else you can think of. Let's just check a quick RAM preview to see that it looks awesome. If you time it right, you can also make it endlessly loopable as well. And you can also change the mask from, I suggest, over the rate of one frame to a flat line. You just, just got to change the sound effect a bit for that. But then that's pretty cool as well. So that summarizes this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.